Hey you guys, um, I'm here today to talk about geology. I'm a geology major, so I love this stuff. So just right off the back, what is geology? Um, if you break it down into two parts, geo means earth, and ology means study, so it's the study of earth. And when I say earth, don't get me mistaken for just our planet. I mean like rocks, earth, earth, you know. So that includes the other planets in the solar system, not just planet earth. Um, it's a really big topic and there's so much inside of it. I'm just going to talk about rocks for now. Um, some of us may or may not know rocks break down into three main categories. Sedimentary rocks, igneous rocks, and metamorphic rocks. I made you guys flashcards for this. Sedimentary rocks are rocks that result from the consolidation of sediments. And all that means is if you get pieces of rock or like sand, and it goes under a lot of pressure. It's put together. It's lithified. When it's released from the pressure, it won't fall apart and just be sediments anymore. It'll be an actual rock. Sedimentary rocks break down into two main characters or categories. Sorry, it's bioclast and siliciclast. And bio means life, so it's biological pieces because class means piece or fragment. And you try to remember class, meaning piece of fragment, because you'll hear that in the other rock types too. And then silicic class is just rock pieces, not the biological name. And then next up we have igneous rocks. Um, those are defined as rocks that are formed from the solidification of molten material or magma. Two main categories for igneous rocks are mafic and felsic. And that refers to the chemical composition, like the chemical mineral that's actually growing within the rock. Mafic minerals tend to be darker colored, as to where felsic minerals are lighter colored. Um, just some small information there. And then metamorphic rocks, one of my favorites. They're rocks that are changed in solid state by temperature, pressure, deformation, or chemical reactions that change the rock. Now, when you're talking about metamorphic rocks, it's important that you state that they were changed in while they were still solid because if it changed into a liquid or molten magma lava state then it's an igneous rock once it cools and yeah, it's, it's really interesting and it's important that you, that you remember that it changed as a solid. I'd like to tell you guys more and I might in another video but I'm running out of time for tonight so I hope you guys enjoyed the little lecture.